Hi, struggling with chord progressions, not the greatest pianist? Cordes is an iPad app that will help you navigate the troubled sea of music theory. Chords are the backbone of any song, no matter the genre. If you already have a melody and need to find the perfect chords, or you are just starting a new piece and need ideas, or again, if you keep on falling back to the same old chord progression and need something to spice up your composition, Cordes is here to help. Cordes is a war pun with chords, of course, and Hernán Cortés, a Spanish explorer of the 16th century. Just like he explored the western seas, you are ready to set sail and explore the notion of marvelous chords. Cordes is available now for the iPad on the App Store. Check the link in the video description. Once installed from the App Store, setting up Cordes is incredibly easy. Cordes does not produce any sound on its own, but is an amazing MIDI controller that lets you play other instruments. Think of it as an advanced MIDI keyboard. For instance, here on my iPad I want to play Module Pro by Korg. All I have to do is make sure that the app is configured to run in background mode. I then launch Module Pro and finally run Cortez. I'm ready to play. By default, Cortez sends note on MIDI channel number one, but you are free to change the channel number with this drop down menu. Cortez is perfect to play notes within your DAW. Connect the iPad to your Mac and run MIDI audio configuration. Click the Enable button under your iPad icon, mine is called Slarty Bus Fast the Second, then click Window, MIDI Studio, double click on Driver AIC and make sure that this is checked. You should now be able to receive MIDI signals from your iPad. For instance, let me play a virtual instrument by Arturia. or record some chords in Cubase. This is the interface of Cordes. It has a nice vintage synth look and feel. Can you smell the wood? How inspiring! When you run Cortez, the interface is set to play in C major scale. The first row of pads let you play the seven diatonic chords of C major, C major, D minor, E minor, and so on. Thanks to these pads, you can play entire chords and chord progression with only one finger. As soon as you press a pad, up here you can see the played chord, D minor, its Roman numeral representation, a lowercase Latin 2, and the notes of the chord, D, F, A. On the pads you can see the notes of the chord, C, D, E, and so on, and the Roman numeral of the chord. You can select the scale here, for instance, E minor. As soon as you change the key or the mode, the pads reconfigure themselves to let you play the correct chords or the selected scale. The first pad of the first row now correctly show E minor. Let's stick to the beloved C major, also known as C Ionian or all the white keys of the piano. Under octave you can select the bass octave the chords are played on. Millions of songs only use diatonic chords at a scale, so only using the topmost chord you are already able to compose endless masterpieces. But we are here to explore, remember? The first place to reach out when looking to expand the palette of chords you want to use is the parallel modes or the rows of pads under the first one. Playing any of those other chords is called borrowing from the parallel mode. 
For instance, when in a major scale, like we are now, it is common to borrow from the parallel minor chord. If we have the chord progression 1, 6, 4 and 5, for instance, we can try to spice it up by borrowing E flat from the minor key. Your test and imagination are the only limits here. If you want to know more about parallel chords, check the link in the description. Another very popular place where to fish for interesting chords that are outside the seven diatonic chords of the scale you are in are secondary chords. G to C, or generally the movement from the fifth chord to the first one, is called perfect cadence. and it gives a very pleasing sense of resolution. This is why it is common to use the fifth, also called dominant, chord of any chord. If you press at the same time one of the pads on the right and a chord pad, you will play the fifth of whatever chord you are playing. You can play a nice descending progression by playing the fifth of the fifth, that is D, the fifth, that is G, and the first chord. If you want to know more about secondary chords and seventh chords, check the links in the description. In the lower part, you can find the substitutions. When you are about to play the third chord of a scale, also called the median, you can try substituting it with any of the chromatic median chords. When you are about to play the sixth chord of a scale, you can also try any of the chromatic submedian chords. Finally, when you are about to play the fifth chord of the scale, you can try substituting it with the Triton substitution. If you want to know more about chromatic median, Triton Substitution, check out the links in the description. So far, by tapping on these pads, you are only playing basic chords forms, like major chords, minor chords or diminished chords. You can instantly spice up your chord progressions by switching on the diatonic 7th chord. Whatever you play will now sound jazzy and sophisticated because all the pads are configured to play their 7th or major 7th version. On the left of the screen, this section of the interface allows you to alter the chords you want to play. For instance, we can play C7, C major 7, C9, C6, 9 and so on. While playing extended chords, you can also alter specific notes. For instance, lowering the 9 by half a semitone. Finally, you can experiment with quartal and quintal harmony with those two pads. Quartal and quintal chords are not as common as other extensions, but they produce really rich, lush, mystic chords. The chords are played around the octave selected up here, but you can temporarily change the octave with these pads. The three lowermost pads allow you to play chord inversions. To alter the quality of a chord, you have to select the extension pad before actually playing the chord. To change this behavior, activate the retrigger switch. Now, whenever you tap or untap an extension pad, the chord is played again with or without the applied extension. If you want to know more about extended chords, chord alterations, quartal and quintal harmony and chord inversions, check the links in the description. While Cordes is focused on exploring chord progressions and not really playing them, the interface offers some functionalities to make your performance more interesting, believable and human. First of all, if the virtual instrument you are using supports the pedal, for instance, it's a virtual grand piano, you can activate the pedal switch. 
With this slider, you can dynamically select the velocity or volume intensity of the chords you play. The slider besides it is configured to send data to MIDI CC signal number one. Think of it as a virtual mod wheel. Here I'm playing a synth pad configured to open or close the filter cutoff with the mod wheel. You can freely assign each of the sliders to send a CC signal of your choice. For example, I've now configured Cortez to use CC number 1 and number 11 used by many Spitfire orchestral instruments to control dynamic and expression. When humans play an instrument, they typically don't hit every note with the very uh, same precise intensity. With this knob, you can add a little randomization to the velocity of the notes to simulate the playing of a real person. Just like humans do not play notes with a mechanical precision, they do not typically hit notes super in time. This knob adds a slight random variation in the position of the played notes, as you can see here in Cubase. With this knob, you can add a pleasant strum effect to your playing. Finally, the spread knob, as the name implies, has various modes you can experiment with. What the spread knob does is to multiply over different octaves the notes of the playing chord to make it larger, as you can see in the recorded piece. One last thing. If you want to play chords more freely and have all the possible chords at your fingertips, activate this circle of fifth view with this switch here. You now have access to all the 12 major chords and all the minor chords arranged according to the circle of fifths. All the alterations still apply. If you want to know more about the circle of fifths, check the link in the description. Cordes is available right now for iPad on the App Store. Happy playing!